All right, we're live. I'm early. Two minutes early, but that's okay. Sometimes it's better to be early than late. If you know what I mean. Gee, man, what's up? We're going to try this again. Oh, man, it has still been raining like cats and dogs, so I don't know. It's crazy. Right now, everything says it's okay, but we're going to find out. So hopefully you can hear me and see me good, and we'll get this party started. Have a pop. Yay. Ren, what's up? G-Man, Funko Vince. What's up, Chris? So I've uh, got this bad boy, and uh, I need a platform. A platform. So uh, I've done one in the past, but um, I sort of destroyed it. So I'm gonna build another one. So I figured I would uh, have you guys along for the ride. Got the old project bricks. Start laying this thing out and typically I just lay things out sort of get a mental picture of what I'm thinking about before I ever start gluing them up got the dio here just to give me some scale I still need to do some uh, touch-up work on that bad boy but hey it's getting there yeah it was crazy yesterday it was crazy and typically, I always, when I do one for Pops, I always have a Pop close by. And I figured Lara Croft was a fitting prop. Prop. Pop prop. Pop prop. To sort of get an idea of what I'm wanting to do. And instead of actually painting the individual blocks, I'm going to build it. And then I'm going to dry brush it. Maybe. I don't know. The, the color of these actually works pretty good. They're sort of a sand color, so I might not have to worry about it too much. Might not have to. Might not. Just like building blocks. But also, so I use these little skinny sticks instead of when I'm dealing with pops or even six inch, I use these skinny sticks instead of tongue depressors. Hey Harold, how you doing? Um, I just find these are better to scale. Like if you look at a pop in regards to a popsicle stick, it's almost like a surfboard to where these are a little bit better. So that's what I use. Skewers would work, yes. Uh, me personally, I hot glue them. Um, skewers, nothing wrong with that. Um, I just don't want it to move, so I hot, hot glue them. Um, two things you got to think about when you're building one of these bases. Uh, I use this particular size here, which is about four or five, about five inches. So that can dictate your uh, width of your platform unless you want to add more so I always have one of these around I try to figure out uh, how I want to do it you know if I want to use two to make a big platform then you need a center section and voila then you got a big one so I don't know this is part of it you just sort of visualize it in your brain and Try to look at the scale, look at everything. And you could just use these. You, I mean, you could fill these in, but I don't I don't want that look. I don't. AJ Collects, what's up? I just don't want that look. So I'm leaning towards this, possibly. I think yeah that might actually work out pretty good yeah so 
get my little uh, done. So now we're just going to uh, have some fun and glue some of these bad boys up. Glue them up. And the beauty about these little project blocks is they're all different thicknesses. Um, so yeah, uh, Black Panther Throne, I've uh, thought about that. I've actually been looking at my uh, my Snoke Throne. Um, it's sitting right over there. I've been looking at it. I actually put it on the dio, but um, I wanted to uh, think about that one a little bit. But these would make a great throne. It's just that would be a little bit more, um, I'm not going to say complicated, more thought would have to be into that one. So basically what I always do is I'll do one end. Basically I'll get that set in place and then go from there. I love hot glue guns. Hot glue guns are awesome. And I tell you what, little projects like this, honestly, they're like seriously some of the greatest stress relief in the world is just building something. You know, just build something. So there we go. Voila. And then this piece, the, the wood actually um, uh, is basically the same width. So that's going to work out perfect yes perfect I like perfect uh yes no 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 this this topic guys you guys in chat man we'll we'll talk about anything i mean this is just me doing this while we chat uh colonel sanders pop yes yes gotta have it gotta have it I knew yesterday, I knew that I would not see that out in the wild, but you know, hey, had to have my hopes up, right? You know, you, you might get surprised. It's worth a shot. Of course, every all the postings that I saw about it dropping were probably in California. <laughs> So, you know, that's that's what that's all about. But I can't wait to I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to add it. I think it'd be it's just going to be a cool pop. I mean, whether you like Colonel Sanders or not, it's like if you're into like ad icons and stuff like that, you know, you got to have it. And what I'm going to do, and the reason I got the dio out is I'm going to have to be looking at length and everything else I'll be doing references back and forth to this thing as it goes while it goes goes along nice Harold yes keep hope alive you're right Ren it's uh it is complete stress relief uh, I'm actually going to be taking this dio and some lighting and everything else down to my basement today and I'm gonna be setting up getting this thing set up but before I do that and I actually made this a permanent dio um, I changed my mind on the magnets and I actually completely attached it um, because this is gonna be one that I'm really proud of and I'm gonna keep and I just said you know what I'm just permanently mounting the back Little Debbie Pop, yes, that would be so cool. I was actually in the grocery store last night, and uh, I was looking through like all the Twinkies, Hostess cakes, all the snack foods and stuff like that. And of course, my wife's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Reference material," and <laughs> and I was looking at them. I thought, you know what? There's some really cool ones out there that we need to have. One thing I will tell you this as we get a little further along in this project, I'll show you another little tip as we proceed. 
my hot glue gun you guys are gonna laugh at me but I'll show it to you here in a second I am using the princess hot glue gun <laughs> Mikey what's up you think I'm kidding right there it's the princess line <laughs> I've got a big one and to be honest with you it's like big and it's just it's too big so this one right here works perfect because it's small it's low profile it's a more low heat version which yes hot hot glue on the fingers no no nay nay Burger King yes completely agree with that one Burger King would be cool very cool. Stay. There's this, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, if you just walk through the grocery store, Jolly, here, now this and you'll laugh at me. Jolly Green Giant. I, yeah, it's peas and beans and corn, but it's not a snack food, but <sighs> Jolly Green Giant. Just saying. There's so many things out there you can do an ad icon on. It's ridiculous. And I'll, I keep, I keep, you'll see me drop Laura. Oh. Um, and the reason I keep her here is I'm putting her in the center of this base so I can get an ideal as I'm going out. Wendy's, yes. Yeah, all fast food. Little Caesars, yes. I mean, there's so many. Well, I mean, you had Domino's with the Noid, so why not Little Caesars, right? Why not? Doing good, Lugie. We're just sitting here building a uh, a pop base, a uh, platform, a something <laughs> to go with my uh, Dio here. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're almost to the point where I'm thinking that might be. And again, guys, I, I can't stress this enough. Reference. And what I'm getting at is, is right here, I'm using it as a reference for scale. So I'm thinking lengthwise, I have went far enough. I do believe so now we're gonna let me show you this little trick stay hot glue gun stay all right I'm doing good looking mr. clean I can relate to mr. clean cuz I ain't got no hair um, so as far as the sticks go um, I like to use these to give me references as far as making sure everything is, believe it or not, true and square. There is a ton of food mascots. Uh, me personally, um, I would love to see college football pops, mascot pops. Me personally. Um, I think college football, uh, the mascots would be awesome. I think college football mascots are more, I don't know, I'm not going to say creative, but they're more fun looking than pro ball. I just think it'd be cool. I don't want to use that block. That block's ugly. Budweiser dog or horses. Yes. See, I don't know when it comes to the alcohol part of it, though. It'd be a cool pop, but that might be tiptoeing on, you know, with kids and minors. And, you know, you got to be you gotta be careful and think. And... All right, so this last one, I'm going to dry fit him. I'm actually going to get him glued in. Nice and snug. Smokey the Bear, yes. Uh, McGruff the Crime Dog. I know that is way back, but, you know, McGruff the Crime Dog. 
Can't go wrong with McGruff. I don't think you can anyway. Me personally. All right. Let's get this last one in here. Get this one. Hold this one a little bit longer and let it set. Yeah, that'd be cool, Ren. Ooh, Ninja Joker. Yes. So cool. Nick, what's up? We're building a um, a base, a uh, pop base for the Dio that I built. So now you ask yourself, Greg, you can't go just one run. No, we're going two runs. At least two. Um, so When you're building these, take one of these blocks and they cut really easy, uh, but cut it in half because you don't lay runs of block and brick with fulls. So I'll take this half here. Now we're going to do some more dry fitting. Got to dry fit. And what this does is, uh, you know what, I'm going to grab some of these. I'm gonna grab some of these lighter ones because when you dry fit them that gives you what you're looking at you know just to see and then you take your other half and you put it down here on the end voila ta-da boom Definitely Kool-Aid. Definitely Kool-Aid. Oh, man. Definitely Kool-Aid. All right. Now, once you get that run dry fitted, go ahead and attach the cut piece like so. Now, just like mortar, lay your bead like that and bring it on in set that run ooh send ooh pop tarts yes yeah, cinnamon toast crunch pop tarts yes and now i can just take these off and basically like i said it's just like laying brick top or bottom and side and put it in i knew all those years that i learned how to lay brick and block would come in handy <laughs> yeah if you ever want a summer job that'll uh, get you in shape brick work brick work or block work either one Ooh, i didn't you know i've never kim i never thought about the hawaiian punch like i said there's so many there's so many out there that we could literally just go crazy for Now I'm gonna double check this end again. And again, it's it's okay. It's you know, like I say, like I've got a little bit more of a gap here on this one. No big deal. Take one and trim another one. Just trim, trim, trim. And fit that one, and voila. Voila. Get that all snugged in. Double check that again. I'm digging it. Yeah, right there. Guys, I'm telling you. When it's when it's nasty outside, see this is so much you have no idea how much fun doing this stuff is landscaping Harold yes I'm telling you that's some kick kick butt work right there Ooh, manual labor manual labor is a wonderful thing um, like I said I'm a I'm an IT manager now but I've, I've spent the biggest chunk of my life doing manual labor and um, Manufacturing, uh, boom, boom, boom. 
<laughs> Ren, that would be. Uh, I'm not at that level yet, but you do take uh, you know people like Casey Neistat, Jetta. You take people that's really blowing up YouTube. Oh heck yeah, definitely. So here we're here's here's what I was uh, talking about. So if you look at this brick here. See how it's perfectly lined up? You don't want that. So, let's take another one of these. And cut it in half. And then we'll do the dry fit. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, hold this up and show you guys what it looks like. Voila. So see how you got the lines that are separated now? Boom, boom, boom. Voila. Voila. All right. Let's see here. Oh yeah. It catches uh, I'm I'm I just turned 55 and uh I feel you. I feel it every morning when I get up, but you know what? I still pride myself that uh a big chunk of the youth nowadays, I can uh, not only hang with them, but I can surpass them. I take a lot of pride in that. Just say it. It's nothing against the youth. It's just a different generation. Nothing against the young folks. I love young folks. Love everybody I work with uh, is probably third, mid twenties to early thirties. Um, I love every one of them. We have a good time. We laugh. We joke. We cut up. Um, it's just a different world that we live in now. We have more of a technical world. Um, you know, we just do. And parts of me uh, feel bad because the technology that we're all addicted to, and we are all addicted to it. I don't care how old you are. I mean, we are addicted to it. Um, it, it just it causes uh, it causes us to, to lose something along the way so for all the young folks that watch my channel and listen to me rant and rave don't be afraid to get out and sweat I'm serious I told I told a good good friend of mine that's uh, early 30s I told him I said you know one of the greatest things that a uh, a young young man or young woman could ever do is uh be associated with a place and get your get your cdls get your cdl license commercial driving license and the reason for that is you will always have a job uh if you know how to weld do electrical plumbing i don't care if you want to be a a clothing designer but if you know how to do certain skills when times get tough, you will always have a trade. Always. <laughs> Ren, we're all addicted, man. Uh, yeah, construction. Uh, like I said, I'm telling you, what I'm doing right now, seriously, this is the same as building a block wall. Seriously, there's no differences to this whatsoever, except it's not as physically demanding. I'm not using concrete these don't weigh nothing I don't even think this thing would even register on a scale <laughs> but all joking aside seriously I mean all you should always have a backup always have a backup know how to do something I mean I have uh, there's a book that I read a long time ago it's called moving your cheese and it's a really good book it's a it's not a big book it's a very small read uh, but the beauty of it is it talks about constantly moving, uh, moving in your careers, moving. Just don't become complacent. Don't become static. Just move. And it makes a lot of sense because I have moved a lot in my 40 years. I mean, I I started working when I was, oh man, I'm going, I'm sorry guys. I'm going to go on a rant here. <laughs> uh, four, you know, grew up on a farm, uh, from the time I could, seemed like from the time I could really walk good, I was driving tractors and feeding cows and baling hay and all that stuff. And 
the first real paying job. I think I was 15 years old, working at a truck stop, cha changing semi-truck tires. Uh, manufacturing, geez. I worked for the Coca-Cola company. I've been a drywall guy. I've done electrical work, plumbing. I can weld. I mean, it's just like, geez. The plate was full. And I look back at all that, and I'm like, that's pretty freaking awesome, you know? That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So having a backup. G-Man, I'm telling you right now, uh, you know, driving an 18-wheeler, um, yeah, that's hard life. It's hard life. Finish contractor. Oh, man, finish work. You know, finish work is a breed in its own self. <laughs> it really is. There's an eye for detail that finish contractors have that, man, I'm telling you, you, it, you just, it's, it's just a whole other level of contractor work. And, I mean, that's, that's just, that's it. Sometimes, but seriously though, I mean, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to get out there and, and throw yourself out there. Um, I mean, heck, just like good examples, me with this YouTube channel. I mean, I throw myself out there all the time, and I don't, I don't care. It's fun. I enjoy it. And I have people, I have people that are in my age group that are like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I, I mean, I get I get some good conversations going, but you know what? I love it, and that's all that matters. Sometimes I don't love this glue gun, <laughs> especially when I when I put hot glue on my finger. College, yes, I'm a firm believer in education. Never stop learning. Never. Uh, I've got a niece, and man, uh, she is. I, I I pick on her a little bit and aggravate her, but I call her a professional uh, student. Uh, she has been in school her entire life. Um, she's actually, I think, working on her doctorate right now. I mean, she's got you know bachelor's, master's, and her whole thing is she wants to be a tenured professor that's that's her goal in life and she's good at it she's really good at it she was talking about some kind of research study she's doing now and i'm just like what sounds really cool but i don't know what you're saying harold i've done framing and roofing and um let me tell you something uh, a pack of shingles let me give y'all this. This is a neat little tidbit. So a pack of shingles is about ninety pounds, if I remember correctly. Harold, you might, uh, I might be wrong in that, but I'm thinking it's it's about ninety pounds for a pack of shingles, and you carry those suckers up a ladder all day long. And I'm not talking about using like the conveyors that the smart contractors use. I'm talking about working for a cheap contractor where. You hire labor, and that's all, your whole job all day long is carrying packs of shingles up a roof. Collecting is fun, man. I'm telling you, it's it's fun. It's a hole, though. It's a it's a freaking black hole. <laughs> it really is. Um, but it's fun. It is so much fun. All right, now the tricky part. So I've created this. So now I'm gonna need two of these bad boys. So let's see how good I can do this. Hope everybody had a good day yesterday. Deliver beer. I don't drink beer, but hey, brother. Uh, when I, I can relate to you because when I worked for the Coke plant um, as delivery, I did that for a little bit. And uh, I'm telling you right now, 
that's a job. That is a J-O-B that will kick your booty. And I'll tell you another another job too. Um, UPS, FedEx. Uh, man, the UPS folks. I know the FedEx boys do it, but I don't think they do it to the extent of um, UPS. I might be wrong in that, and I apologize if there's any FedEx folks that are watching this. But um, man, that's a man. That is a job. That is a butt kicker. Hey, you're right. Here's the thing. I'll tell you this. I told um, one of the rules I rules I had when my daughter was uh, growing up is that uh, at the dinner table, the dinner table was where discussions happened, and I told her when she was. Uh, I can't remember what age she was. Um, I told her, I said, just because I'm an adult does not mean I'm right. It doesn't. And if you feel if you feel strongly about something, then you need to talk about it and you need to present it and you need to explain your point of view. And we had some really good discussions uh, when she was growing up. Really good ones. And she got really good at it. She got really good at expressing her her points of view. So, for the younger folks out there that might watch this, that are still living at home, still living with mom and dad, and mom and dad, you know, you might not agree with what mom and dad are saying. You, you can't just get frustrated and mad at them and storm off. You, you need to explain your point of view, why you think you do. You don't just say because, that's not an explanation. You need to really focus on the passion of what you're trying to convey. And I tell you, you will get so much uh, out of it, you will not regret doing it. Um, your parents will, they'll be like, what? <laughs> where did that come from uh but yeah just uh just don't just don't just get frustrated and go oh rah, 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 storm off no that doesn't solve anything because you can't do that in real life you can't just storm off and you know get your knickers in a twist sorry guys i will uh this is what ha this is what happens when I get into these little projects. Sometimes I get off topic and I apologize. So what I'm doing right now is again dry fitting. I want to just sort of get a feel for number one how many of these things I'm gonna be using. Sort of get a feel for the way it's gonna look. I tell you this is this is funny. So literally I like. I literally have like got like the shakes right now. Ren, is it snowing in Knoxville? Keep it. Um, and let me. These little bad boys right here are are these are these are the devil. These are devil seeds. Uh, these are espresso beans with dark chocolate, and um, they are really really good. They're too good, and man, this is, I just grabbed like five of them about two hours ago, and uh, wow, I think it's like drinking a whole pot of coffee, and I just put three more in my mouth, yeah, I'm an idiot, they're so good, Monster Energy, energy Drinks, I ain't got nothing on those, nothing. Yeah, see, that's the bad part about Tennessee. Ren, he understands what I'm talking about. Harold, probably, he, you know, it's just, we don't get snow. We get ice. We get sleet. We get just utter nastiness. And it's not cool. It's not fun. It's not cool. Oh, these little sticks here, there's like uh, 75 of them in a pack. You can get them at Walmart. 
and they're like a couple of bucks and a box of these uh, project box at um, Hobby Lobby are uh, 15 bucks and there's 285 of them in a box and they go a long way so if you decide that you want to build you something hey you got no excuses now for less than 20 bucks and a little time and some hot glue but here's here's the main thing I'm doing with this right here is I'm wanting to just see the overlap see if I if it's going to like work out in the wash because the last thing you want to do is get to the very end and be like what this looks weird so I'm just trying to eyeball it right now and just sort of get a feel for it and voila that's going to work out pretty freaking perfect yes I know I know the weather is the weather this year has been really weird lots of rain the fires out west crazy snow um, it's just been weird all right so we're done with these brocks right now for now and what I do so I've got a full box so I actually bought two boxes of these so what I do with this box is I keep all my pieces the pieces that I cut in the empty box all right so now we can take these I'm gonna go ahead put a little dab there and a little dab there a little bit more of a dab there this is where you could possibly get a burn <laughs> possibly so that's where the big one comes in handy I'll use the big one to press like so Voila. Uh, block of foam cover the size top with bricks uh, sure you could uh, yeah I mean you could definitely um, like with this dio here like if that back wall was a floor um, yeah you could definitely do that um, I'll be honest with you it's a whole lot easier to build walls out of a big piece of foam cut them blah 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 than to go through this but you could definitely uh, you could definitely do that you can do whatever you want that's the beauty that's the beauty of doing stuff like this you can do whatever you want because it's your project ancient ruins that is correct but I figured with this dio that I done um, it just sort of made sense to uh, do it this way Or it made sense to me anyway and when you lay these down don't try to be like perfect with them it's okay if you mess them up and one of them's a little crooked or anything like that that's okay because the blocks themselves are not going to be easy or for floral foam yeah um, that is true floral uh, I'll be honest with you I've never used the floral foam um, I really love this pink foam from uh, from Home Depot it carves really well um, and it, it is it is messier but when you start the carving part of it but it's just it's tough it's durable <laughs> Uh, wooden crates uh, yes I have used some wooden crates I actually have a base that uh, I took off of a, a wooden crate that I have used but yeah stuff like this I mean seriously it is so much fun guys so much fun yes Ren agreed so the the cool thing with this is as the video um, live stream I can't remember what it was when I talked about it, I'm gonna be using the Black Panther figures in this 
um, that was the main reason but uh, as you if you've watched my video from last night the Lion King pops which before you guys say it I know I butchered the names if you guys have paid any attention to me whatsoever you know that I butcher names I suck at it um, I'm gonna be using the uh, Lion King pops primarily with this dio as well and hence this this is going to be their platform uh spray foam ooh spray foam ooh true chris uh, i've never i've never used the spray foam but yeah uh, i think the spray foam would work really good um it might be a good solution for uh making trees maybe because it's expandable but you gotta be careful with it because it's expandable and when it expands ooh, yeah that might be now i will say this spray foam might be good for making like hills and mountains and things that are really uneven and jagged that might that might be a good thing for that dk what's up we're building a pop base we're building a pop base And like I said, I built one of these before, but I destroyed it. Yeah. I destroyed it. I didn't do it on purpose, but I did it. I had it in the back of my car. And, uh, yeah. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> uh, the first one I did, I actually, going back to, um, um, let me see here. Uh, Chris was talking about. Um, when I first did this one, it was one run. I actually had overhang on these, and I actually did cut these and make them look um, boogered up. So, yes, you're absolutely right uh, with the popsicle sticks. And, again, to me, the popsicle sticks uh, with pops, I don't necessarily – pops or even six-inch, I think, I think these scale better me personally um it'll make more sense when i get a few more on here i'll put the pop on it you'll see i just i just think they scale a little bit better especially with pops um compared to the now the popsicle sticks will get it done quicker that's for sure i mean face it this thing is like close to three of these it's 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 a good two and a two and a quarter of these so yeah ooh water feature that's a hey that's a good idea Ren, good rock formation yes hey mike how you doing that's guys i'm, I'm digging what you guys are talking about and that's that's the beauty of this type of live stream is i want everyone that's in the chat i want you guys to you know share information with each other and you know ideals thanks Derek um, that's the one thing about I think that's one of the reasons why I really like doing this type of live stream is it's more of a uh, creative live stream you get to number one see what's going on in this messed up brain but you also can collab and talk about things Jada what's up my friend welcome um and that's the beauty of it it's not just uh you know the atypical ones like i do on tuesday where we just talk about this and that this is something that you can bring out your own ideals it that now ren that that's a valid point that is a very valid point um here's the here's the problem with these all right in this is you you still have to look at scale so if I use this this popsicle stick which is basically let's say it's three of these right my platform would have to be bigger so the plank would the popsicle stick would look like a proper plank so if we look at scale um, and I'm not sure what I don't even know if it says it on the box what scale these blocks are actually and this is the problem with any kind of dio is scale work um, 
So, to me, if you look at a pop, and let's see if I can do this right. So, if you look at this this pop and this scale of this wood, to me, when I look at her foot, that is scaled right. If I have this and I look at her foot, it's like she's on a surfboard or skateboard. So the scale's off. So to make the scale look right with six or seven inch, now you got a bigger platform. And the bigger the platform, if you're gonna be using this with another dio, means that dio has to be bigger. So everything has to scale up. So, and to me, that's the hardest part about all of this. It's just in your brain, and a lot of it is trial and error. I mean, seriously, it is trial and error. Um, if I took a, I don't even think, okay, yeah. All right, so Predator, right? So if we take hmm, the Predator's foot in comparison, it's almost like he's walking on one by ones, right? Now, would it still look good? Oh yeah, I mean, it would still look okay, but again, if, you, if you're looking at scale, and if you put the popsicle stick, still has a surfboardish look, or a skateboardish look to it, but it's a little bit more doable. It, and if that makes sense. So, will it work? At the end of the day, will it work? Yes, will it work? Are you a stickler for authenticism, scale? Then it'll drive you crazy. But again, here's the best advice I can give you about it is go to Hobby Lobby, buy you some of these project blocks, go to Walmart, they have these, they have these, they have them in various lengths, and uh, build one. Take a look at it, see what you think. Worst case scenario, you've invested a little bit of time and money. Courage Toys, what's up? Welcome. Michael, what's up? And at the end of the day, if it looks good to you, then you know what? That's all that really matters. You don't need to build anything or do anything or photograph anything unless you like it. If you're doing it for other people's opinions, then are you really doing it for what you want? And when it comes to art, it's about what you want. It's not about what I want. That's just my opinion. My opinion. But I will tell you this. If you want something to take your mind off things, right here, right here. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. And it, whether you draw, do art, crochet, <laughs> Ren, you know it's that's a that you know that is a valid point because this is more like a tongue depressor. <laughs> ah, tongue depressor. So, so you're right. Yes. That's, that is right. That is the prize wheel. That thing gets spun on Tuesday nights. Whether it's me at the toy table or the three pack, we're going. It's going to be spun on Tuesday nights. It's only about live streams. It is for only people that are in the live streams. So if you want to have a chance at the prize wheel, that means you got to stay tuned for Tuesday nights. And you gotta stay for the whole thing. Because if you're not in the chat when the wheel gets spun, you ain't one. So this is just something that I came up with that I wanted to give back to the people that actually uh, are on the live streams and support via that way. Um, I like comment pickers and stuff like that, but again, um, I just wanted something that was live, something that the person that actually was participating and 
you know, enjoying the live stream could get a chance to win something. Uh, no gunpowder today. It's too wet. It's raining. Uh, as far as uh, custom, no, as far as dioramas, no, I do not do dioramas for people. I am not that good. And like you said, Crashbox Customs, he is the uh, he's at a whole another level than I am. Now, am I going to try to give him a run for the money in the next ten years? <laughs> Will I ever succeed? Don't know. Honestly, right now I'm just calling it the toy wheel. As of right now, I haven't, I haven't, I've had some really good suggestions, but right now it's just the toy wheel. <laughs> it's sort of, sort of a lame name, but I don't know. But I did get, some, I do have all the suggestions that people were throwing out, and uh, I still am not a hundred percent. Uh, convinced that it will remain just called the toy wheel but for right now that's all I got and gunpowder is awesome I love gunpowder I love doing anything creative when it comes to my photos and that one that one uh, guy that I've been blown up on my Instagram YouTube uh, Facebook. Everybody's been sending me the, the link to that one guy, and I'm actually a subscriber to him. He's actually the one that I was watching, I watched when it came to the gunpowder stuff. And I find it funny, and it's like so many people have tagged me on uh, his work, and I was just like, yeah. I mean, even people that I work with have tagged me on it. It's not like people that are on my YouTube channel. It's literally everybody. All right, so what I'm going to do here, yes, that'll work. Make that that, make that that. Let's see, one of the things I hope that you guys get out of these little projects is, I mean, it's we're not even an hour in. Boom, right there. There you go. Not even an hour in and you now have a base for a pop voila Ta -da! boom but does that mean i'm done no it does not mean i'm done by no means so let me see if i can pull her over here so voila still needs painted still needs some weathering but it also needs something else. And that's the next step. Actually, uh, Ren, I've actually thought about reaching out and talking about talking to him about that. I just, you know, I just gotta get it figured out. Okay. So next step yes we need more blocks so who can figure out oh you guys will be able to figure out what I'm doing so I'm not even going to ask because you guys will know what I'm doing I think that's when you got to think Yeah, ch definitely check out Crashbox, Crashbox on Instagram and YouTube. You will not regret it. He's really, really good. Hmm. This is the hard part. It's oh, well, I say the hard part. This is not necessarily the hard part. This is the interesting part of this. Because I don't want to, don't want to do it this way. I want to do it what my brain's telling me to do. Yes, gotta have steps. But I'm trying to decide if I want 
big steps or little steps and I'm leaning yes 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 <laughs> score go uh, Danny man you're not missing nothing we're just we're chatting and I, we, I just wrapped up building this thing here and I'm going to sit it right here because now I'm going to build this thing because I think I got that right yes I like that so what I wanted to do yes I wanted to build some steps however I did not want to use these because once again I'm trying to think of scale like I can put her on one of these so I cut some of the project blocks in half and now I'm gluing these bad boys together and we're gonna make some uh, steps or I'm gonna attempt to make some steps with the old hot glue gun and again this is stuff that literally you don't have a huge investment in guys here's and that's the way you need to think about this you're not you're not investing hundreds of dollars you're basically just investing up 20 bucks maybe and a little bit of time and we all have that basically the price of a pop at GameStop <laughs> all right voila voila and yes it's crooked it's uneven but that's what I want I don't care it is Perfect, the way I want it. Perfect. So now, do do do. Let me, because uh, I might actually add another layer. I don't know yet. I'm actually going to bring it out more. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Did anybody pick up anything cool this weekend? I know the weather messed with a lot of people's uh, hunting this weekend, but I'm just curious if everybody uh, that did able to get out was you able to get what you wanted, what you was looking for. Yeah, CNC machine <laughs> uh, correction, thousands of dollars, thousands with a big capital foul. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've done that for a while too. <laughs> I was a CNC operator. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I've done a ton in my life. I'm digging that. That'll work. A ton. Moving your cheese. Yeah, my six inch. Uh, wait a minute. Did I move her over here? Oh. Heck yeah. Right there. Voila. Whoa. I love this pop. I love it. Love it. It's an awesome pop. Oh, I need to reload, reload, reload. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Good morning. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the chat. We're, uh, we're just building some stuff. That's all we're doing. Building. Building some dio stuff. Some accessories. There's like this crazy old movie on TV right now, The Shadow. 
The shadow knows. So yeah, if you uh, if you saw my video that I dropped last night, yeah, I had a freaking crazy day yesterday. Oh, cool. That's cool, Danny. Uh, I actually, when I was in uh, GameStop yesterday, I saw the Flash um, um, Hush, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, still not as cool as the Aquaman that I actually got in a mystery box, but uh, it's still it's cool looking. Now we're putting it on thick, putting on this hot glue. Boom. Oh, I just stuck my finger in the hot glue. Oh, my goodness. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Got sneeze. <coughs> wow, I literally just stuck my finger in that hot glue. I mean, went deep into that hot glue puddle. That ain't, that hurt. That, um, that got me. All right, so there's the top. There's the steps. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, Greg, don't stick your finger in the hot glue. Don't stick your finger in the hot glue. Because it will hurt. All right. Get this thing set. Two inches of snow. Oh, Lisa. Keep it. Got no need. Got no need. Got no want. Got nothing. Don't want it. Do not want it. Oh, snap. Right there. There you go. There's the steps. Voila. Uh, yes, Roman columns. You could definitely do some of those with this. Oh, man. There we go so far. And there's uh, Laura. Laura. Laura Croft. I'm a huge Lara Croft fan. I don't know if you guys, if you don't have this pop, you really need to get this pop. This is such a cool looking pop. It has a crazy amount of detail on it. I mean, she's got her gun and everything on the back. I'm telling you, that's a cool pop. It's a very cool pop. All right. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And I'm also going to be taking, um, hang on, what did I do with it, where did it go, there it is, it was right behind me, it was right behind me, I'm not answering that because that is Walgreens telling me that my prescription's ready. <laughs> Um, let me see here. Let me see here. So one of the things I'm also going to do with this is I'm actually going to put some accents around it. Um, but I need to decide parts of me is thinking about doing it as an afterthought, but I need to paint first. But I'm going to be taking some of the grass and moss and stuff. And I'm going to be putting it around the uh, the edges. So I'll just let you guys know that. Oh yeah, my, my back wall. Yeah. The back wall. So now. I'm really digging this, guys. I think it turned out pretty good. Pretty dadgum good. Dadgum. Dadgum good.
Hmm. Oh, so if we took Mr. Predator, I mean, he'll work. He, I mean, he'll work overall. But I didn't build this for the Predator. I actually built, built this because I want to, like I said, I want to use this for the Lion King Pops. Uh, when I photograph them because I'm gonna use this dio for that and uh, I wanted to have an, another option uh, other than just the grass so there might be one of those things where I have you know one up here a couple down there I don't know yet but I just wanted to have an accessory now here's a cool thing to remember you see how it's wavy right there and that's because the blocks themselves are different heights so this is a good thing you don't, you don't, you got a gap there. It's wavy on the back. This is, this is natural. This is what happens. I mean, if you're taking an old structure and, you know, it's been out in the woods for a while, come on. <laughs> it's going to be jacked up. I am thinking about adding maybe another small run. Maybe. I don't know yet. Let me look at this. Let me check it out. Let me look. Em exactly, Kim. Embrace the diversity. Embrace it. Embrace it. So let me look. Yes. 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 It needs it. Needs it. So we're adding on. Yeah, it's uh, the North got some crazy amount of snow. I think Chicago got it like, two, like in the feet. I mean, when you start going from inches to feet, that's some snow right there. I'm not sure about the rest of the uh, north, but I did hear about Chicago and yeah, Lady Days. Um, hope everything's going well in her neck of the woods. Because, you know, of course, uh, bigger cities like, you know, Chicago, New York, uh, they're so much better prepared for it than like down here in Tennessee. Uh, Carolinas, anything in the south, we don't get it, so it's hard to prepare for it properly. So it usually winds up being bad. Now Texas, yeah, Texas don't get it. Uh, Lisa, the bricks are they are make it fun project blocks. And you get these from Hobby Lobby. There's 285 of them in a box. They cost $14.99. And um, there's a pyramid. But it also comes with uh, this really cool um, instruction book, which is really nothing major. Doesn't come with designs or anything like that. But what it does for people that don't have that just need tips and tricks. Uh, it actually comes with some tips and tricks, uh, which is some good information. Uh, how to create a circular pattern and things like that, but that comes in the box. Um, these uh, sticks are project sticks from Walmart. There's 75 of those in a bag and you can get them various widths, lengths, sizes. Um, and so basically in a nutshell, you could be doing what I'm doing right now. If you already have a hot glue gun and hot glue, you could be doing this for about 20 bucks and you're doing it. Let's see here. That'll work. More hot glue. And hot glue is perfect for these little project blocks. They are, it's perfect. Yeah, I actually have one of my techs uh, works in our Minnesota office and uh, yeah, 
But again, Minnesota, it's it's a city that's prepared for it. They know how to deal with it. All right, so what I did was I added another three, which I feel like gives it a little bit more depth. Me personally, it gives it just gives it more depth. And you can also, like I said, you can also be creative. You could, uh, let me show you something real quick. This is actually, I've never done it before, but it's actually, it goes back to what, uh, I can't remember who it was said it about using the skewers. Let me show you this little trick with these bad boys. So let me set this right here. All right, so take your stick and pop it through like so and you can uh, actually stack these on top of each other after you get the first one get them and just slowly push through Nice, these custom pops. Nice, that's awesome. Um, that's one of the things that I'm gonna do in 2019. Is I, but I need to find an artist. But I'm gonna get a DIY male pop, and I'm gonna have someone paint it like my uh, logo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have them paint it like that, and yeah. All right. So after you get this, you know what? Let's do. I need this back. So need one more. This is how seriously how easy this is. Okay, I might need another one. Let's see here. there get a feel for it a little score line and break it I might not have it uh all right so put just a dab dab a dab a dab a a dab. Let's put that there. Man, I literally am talking myself right now. <laughs> so, if you wanted to add a fence on the back, check it out. That easy. Now, you ask yourself, well, Greg, that's a little low, maybe. Fair enough. Just pick it up and add some underneath it. Makes it a whole lot easier when it's all glued together. Just telling you. So you could do it as high as you wanted it. You could, uh, whatever. Yeah, that's just, you, you get the drift. <laughs> But yeah, you can definitely uh, cut some of these in half. Um, let me uh, pop a little glue in that bad boy right there. And let's cut one of these. Whoa, don't want that to fall. Pop that on the bottom of that one pop this one on the bottom and you could also do it on the outside but if you wanted the uh, the fence to be running on the inside 
that's how easy it is. You just like stick it through it. But voila, there's a fence. So easy, easy breezy. And I might actually put that, I might actually make one of these to put on this. I don't know yet. I really don't know. Parts of me's digging it and parts of me aren't. And that's the problem when you're, or I say that's a problem. It's not a problem, but that's when you, uh, that's when you really have fun with these. It's trying to figure out what you dig and what you don't dig. Pop that all the way through. All right, let's check this out. So, put that right there. Let's do this. Let's let that set there just for a minute. Catch up. Nice, Lisa. That's nice. Okay. So now, put that in the... Uh, use later box all right so now I've left them long on the ends because now what you can do is dry fit it get it perfect and then you can come back and trim the trim the ends so I don't know what do you guys think yay nay there's what it uh, Let's see if I can pick this up while she's out. I'm sort of digging this right now, I'm telling you. But uh, I don't know. What do you think? As she falls off. We'll make we'll make this a we'll make this a team decision. Yes or no for the fence on the back. You let me know what you think, and we'll make it happen. I'll just need to clean up the uh, the blocks a little bit I have to do it I have to do it a better job at making them but if you like them I will put them on it just in case we get three more Okay, Lisa likes it. Appreciate that. Oh, DK, we got a yes on DK. All right, all right, we're getting there. I'm preparing just in case. <laughs> I'm prepping. I do like the fact that it's got, and there's, there's, there's another thing we can do on it too. Uh, have it removable okay okay that's a that's a, that's a good touch okay Kim all right all right so so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pay a little bit more attention on this first one Make sure that the uh, make sure that it's lined up a little bit more, a little bit more straighter. Boom! All right. like this collaboration collaboration it's an awesome thing <laughs> 19 degrees Ooh, you can keep it all right 
so we got that one we got that one stick that bad boy in there now let's figure out this part of the puzzle get some old uh, hot glue right there and a little hot glue right here and let's make sure it stays correct all right we're doing it let that set just for a little bit while we chat man I've got a freaking runny nose it's driving me crazy whoa I about just stuck myself in the foot with the old knife we'll put some on the front too just a little dollop just a little dollop a dollop will do you yes Ren we're uh, we did a we did a vote I showed everybody how to uh, make a real simple one and uh, we decided that we're going to add it however we're not gonna make it fixed I do like the ideal of uh, not making it fully attached at the moment that could change that literally could change because it depends on my brain all right there's the rail and it actually looks pretty good um, like that so let me get my uh, snippies all right so make sure that's lined up good there bring that back down Put a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there just to hold it in place a little bit for now <laughs> deck of a, hey you know what we can make a deck of a pirate ship pirates are awesome I like pirates are you matey so Yes, take the little snippies. Wow, a shot out like a BB gun. Ta da! Now, what I'll do is put a little bit on the end here. And again, I'm gonna be painting this, dry brushing it, so uh, I'm not worried too much about the glue. Let that let that dry a little bit. Wow, man! I'm glad you guys have stuck with me this long. This is really uh, cool. We're gonna be wrapping it up here in a, about eight minutes, but uh, there we go. I'm digging it. I'm digging it so far. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy in place. Let's get Laura. Let's get Laura. Oh, let me turn her head there a little bit. Oh man, this is so cool looking. This is cool. Yeah, I'm excited as Laura fell down. So let me, uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got stuff in the way. Got stuff in the way. All right, let's bring this 
right here so there's that and I'm also gonna be coming back and I'm gonna be adding some white accent to these uh, brick rails just so you guys know as well but uh, there it is let me see if I can get you guys without Laura falling a more bird's eye look what do you think be honest I'm a big boy I can take it what do you think guys I think it looks uh, pretty daggum cool uh, I'm also going to once I get it painted just to give you sort of some thoughts I'm gonna be taking some of this moss and grass and I'm gonna be coming around here and actually adding accents to that I thought about doing it before I painted but I don't know but basically in a nutshell I'm gonna make this piece have its own floral and I still might do it before I paint I just don't, I don't know yet and then on this piece here I'm actually going to add some of uh, just to give you an idea I'll probably add some of this stuff here on the on the rail itself sort of like a vine give it a little bit of give it a little bit of uh, texturing let's see if I can keep this up here while it's you know give it a little bit of character so uh, at least I'll be painting it I'm going to dry brush it um, I'm going to use the same the same techniques that I use for this um, I just I don't know yet I might actually do this more of a granity I don't know if I'm going to utilize the same or make this one different parts of me is thinking uh, make it more stone granity granity that ain't even a word <laughs> Guys, I make up words, I'm telling you. It would not do for me to be a politician because it'd be crazy. <laughs> David V, yes sir, I do the same thing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see some of my work. Uh, I did a live stream doing it. Um, let me look here and I'll show you maybe, yeah, right there. There's my... Uh, my Fortnite photo that I did with the gunpowder got a, uh, the Raptor running so yeah I do the same thing my friend so yeah I think that's uh, like I said I just gotta figure out uh, what I wanna do yet I'm I, I'm really considering matter of fact I am gonna do it because I don't necessarily think I will ever like this without this being fully attached. I don't think. Because I will never use this particular uh, stand here for anything other than a pop. 20, what? David V. 2020. You got me on that one. <laughs> Uh, it does actually uh, let me get it and I'll show you I will show you the only problem that I have with the this throne is I would have to weather it it's it, it it's too techy if that makes sense however what I have thought about doing is taking this throne and actually carving one out of uh, the pink foam and going that route but this is a really cool looking throne it uh i know this predator won't 
work but I'm gonna put him on here anyway I mean it's like I said it's just it need it needs to be weathered oh presidential race um, favorite what is what's your favorite night of room photo this what oh <laughs> um, but it definitely works it works great as a throne uh, I don't really care for it being snoke anymore I just need to like I said I need to weather it I need to I need to figure out it needs to be either repainted or something but as you can see it definitely works definitely works and here's another cool thing you could think of too if I made one when it comes to these bases you can actually take it up a notch and make a base a stone base to utilize this throne on however it it just doesn't look right if and I know you guys understand what I'm saying it's it's just too techy to me it is in other words it doesn't fit but if, if I can sit there and I love the detail in it I love everything about it it's just it, it it's too shiny it's just too it just needs to be mutilated a little bit yeah Ren you're right uh, I've seen this used a lot I've seen this used a lot now if I had to build I've got a, a friend here a, a, and he does a lot of polyfoam stuff he makes a lot of mass and I've really thought about seeing if I could give him this and if he could actually make me a um, a polyfoam replica of this and uh, then that's something that can be paint you know port and foam it could be painted it's still gonna have the details but I might actually try my hand at uh, weathering this and just taking it down a notch I don't know yeah, I'm, I'm part of that group, Ren, and I see I see what you're saying. But this is definitely a great start. Definitely a great start because what um, what I'd like to do with this one is on the back here is attach a some LED lights that are you know battery operated, and then that way when it's on the on the dio it backlights which I think would be really cool looking and I'm also going to incorporate um, my fog monster into this yeah just mold it yeah that's that's easier said than done <laughs> I'm creative I'm not a foam guy or a, mold, a clay guy so I'd have that would be a lot of uh, and then once you do it in, in clay and then you got a poly foam it you gotta have a negative a positive and it's uh, I'm not set up for that but you can definitely mold it out of clay but then find somewhere to get it dried and it's definitely an option it's just not my option um, I did think about making a throne out of the blocks but as of right now this is the best overall option to use uh, I want to take these screws apart I want to actually take it apart I want to see um, I like the fact that this does come apart because that tells me I'll be able to actually mod this and uh, I think it'd just be cool to have an LED little LED strip here in the back of it uh, that way when you set it up here it back lights the wall would be cool so yeah I don't know guys it's 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 a this is the this is the the good problem you have and technically I might be overthinking it technically this throne might work just the way it is other than the fact it's too shiny and that can be solved with a little bit of sandpaper and that might actually be the only thing it needs is just to scuff this up and then come back over and maybe do a, a dry brush of some black on it um, and maybe uh, go from there and this this section right here I think it'd be really cool to put an LED strip there but I don't know it's a good problem to have if that makes sense it's a good problem to have 
Oh, man. But, but anyway, I think we're going to call it for this stream. I appreciate everyone that has stuck with me and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is something, like I've said before, whenever I do these little projects, I'm definitely going to be either Sundays are going to be dedicated to either projects like this if the weather's bad or me out photographing figures. So that's what I'm planning on doing on Sundays, um, whether it be live streams or videos. But the part of me likes doing the live streams because that gives you guys the opportunity to see it. You, you get to see the mistakes and there's mistakes everybody does a video there's mistakes lordy my video that i uploaded last night i got like two or three clips from just like hey how you doing oh, that's that bit <laughs> but anyway guys like i said i'm gonna call it for this one and uh, i appreciate everyone that hung with me through it i hope you enjoyed it uh, appreciated all the good comments i appreciate the interaction um definitely uh jetta is going to be going live tonight so make sure to check him out uh gasselcast they usually do a live stream on sundays too as well just get out there there's plenty of people shooting videos and live streams get out there and enjoy them have fun if you're in an area that has inclement weather please be safe if you have to get out don't uh don't drive unless you have to because it's it's not worth getting in a, in a car wreck or getting hurt or anything like that but anyway, guys, until next time, I'm Greg, this is The Toy Table, and I will see you later.